相倩兮，长相甜美，年轻时的康妮有着一张漂亮脸蛋。她和先生汤马斯在美国俄亥俄州经营。餐厅，没想到二零零四年九月，汤马斯疑心病作祟，怀疑他另结新欢。三更半夜，他突然拿起猎枪，直接瞄准康妮的脸。奇迹似的捡回一命，但康妮的面容再也回不来了。I was shot. I don't know if anybody knows that, but I was shot. 数百片子弹残骸，骨骼碎片，康妮面目全非，她的五官被轰个粉碎。从侧面看，脸部中央只剩下塌陷的孔洞，她无法咀嚼，没有嗅觉，仅剩微弱的视力。更惨的是，超过三十次手术，她容貌依旧不堪入目。And little girl said, "There's a monster, mommy. There's a monster." 童言童语带来深深刺痛，康妮长达五年几乎足不出户，但天无绝人之路。二零零八年十二月，一名女子安娜因为心脏病猝死，家属决定将脸庞捐赠给康妮。一个医疗团队更伸出援手，尝试为康妮变脸，她的生命出现一线曙光。This was the largest, more complex face transplant ever performed in the world. 的大面积脸部移植全没手力，手术过程历经二十二小时，一度传出康妮和捐赠者脸型不合，但最后医疗团队看到康妮的心脸逐渐泛红，代表血液开始流动，他们知道成功了。端详镜中全新脸庞，即使腮帮子松垮垂坠，重建的鼻梁略显僵硬，但是这一刻，康妮已经等了整整五年。像个新生儿探索世界，顶着一张不熟悉的面容，生活大小琐事，康妮都得重新适应，而她甘之如饴。总算可以抬头挺胸的走路，康妮的感官知觉也在复健之后逐渐恢复。I actually smiled my face out. Really? And I realized then I can smile my mouth voices. 整形手术带来全新生活，康妮以捐赠者的面孔重获新生。这一天，捐赠者安娜的丈夫、女儿前来探视康妮，但见面前却是百感交集、忐忑不安。She's my wife. She's my friend. I miss her. Grieving is hard, and it's it's really hard when you lose somebody that you love, but. You really can find so much comfort in knowing that they're helping someone else. That it helps a lot. It really does. 依爱人间的安娜似乎没有消逝，这一刻仿佛依然活在眼前。换上新脸的康妮终于明了，她不再只为自己而活。康妮向外界分享自己的故事，鼓励更多遭逢家暴苦难的妇女。她同时也选择从怨怼中释放自己，原谅前夫。He's only sorry. I forgive them the day he did it. 纵使找不回最初容颜，但康妮找到了重生的脸庞。她从黑暗走向光明，带领世人见证一场爱与医学所带来的奇迹。